Congress has um, has passed similar bills with regard to uh, Burma, uh, Venezuela, Tibet. How do you explain this urge to support protests overseas? Syria, Ukraine, and the list could go on and on. There's there's not a small bird that falls to earth anywhere on the planet that the U.S. Congress doesn't have an opinion about it. They are rather selective, though, as to which regions they choose. You won't hear the U.S. Congress condemning the lack of democracy, say, in Saudi Arabia. Now, that said, this bill on Hong Kong is somewhat milder than the kind of thing that we've seen in other locations. We're not talking about the introduction of sanctions or anything of that. Uh, what we're looking at is a reporting requirement for the president. And with regard to certifying that Hong Kong has genuine autonomy, there is a waiver provision provided there for the president. He doesn't have to do that if he doesn't want to. Also, it's sending a message, right, to the president. Ex exactly, and it might also be laying a little bit of a political trap for the president that if he does certify that he does, I mean, if he doesn't says I don't want to provide that certification, then they can criticize him for fear of offending Beijing. Thank you. Speaking of internal affairs, three years ago, in the wake of Occupy Wall Street protests here in the United States. Congress overwhelmingly passed a bill that made it a federal offense to cause a disturbance in or near certain government buildings and grounds. Occupy Wall Street was a protest against corporate money in politics. Well, three years on, more money is being pumped into politics than ever before in U.S. history. So Congress definitely did not support that protest. But when it comes to standing by a people against their government in some foreign country, there you can count on U.S. Congress. In Washington, I'm going to check out. Okay. An abandoned potash mine in the Perm region in central Russia. Luckily, no one was hurt because workers at a nearby operation were evacuated a day before because of leaking water. Well, the mine uh, firm insists nearby towns are not at risk. You can find the photos on our website right now at rt.com. Also there for you, the three-finger salute that's got these uh, students into a pile of trouble. It's a gesture. <laughs> Hunger Games movies and Thailand's newly armed back Prime Minister isn't happy about seeing it on his streets.